Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to talk about Unify Talk. I want to thank Ubiquiti for sending me these phones, which I've had for a few months now. We're going to create a new VLAN within our UDM Pro for the Unify Talk and then get the phones registered into our Unify Talk application. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. If you'd like to support the channel, we do have memberships available now you could press the join button below this video. So first we're gonna take a look at the specs of each one of these phones and then we'll get into doing the configuration. So currently Unify Talk is only available in the USA. I believe they are trying to push it to other countries available, but for now we could only do it in the USA unless you're using a third party SIP provider. For the Unify Talk subscription, it's $9.99 a month. And that includes a validated local number, 3000 minutes inbound and outbound calls within the US, Mexico and Canada. You do a 15 day free trial as well. Now we're gonna take a look at their phone and they have three different phone models. We have the Phone Touch Max, the Phone Touch and the Phone Flex, which is the cheapest of the three. The Phone Touch Max has a seven inch HD screen. It's 1280 by 800 with a built-in five megapixel camera, which I'm not too sure what we're using that for yet. It's Bluetooth compatible. It's powered by 802.3 AT PoE plus. We have hands-free stereo speaker microphone, and I believe on the handle on the inside, there's a button to mute and we'll test that. It has full voicemail functionality, including transcription, and we could view our Unify Protect cameras within these phones, which is really awesome. To be able to use these phones, we need to have the Unify Talk application, and we could get this on our UDM Pro, our UDM SE, and a Cloud Key Plus. For the Phone Touch Max, it's $129 USD MSRP. Now let's take a look at the Phone Touch. The Phone Touch features a 5-inch HD 720x1280 screen, and it has that included 5-megapixel camera. It has most of the same features as the Unify Touch Max. We have our Bluetooth. It's powered by 802.3 AF PoE. We have the hands-free speaker and microphone. We have the voicemail, including transcription, and we could view our Unify Protect cameras on it. And it comes in at $79 MSRP USD. And you could get this phone in either black or in white. And the last phone we're going to talk about is the Phone Flex. This is the cheapest model that Unify offers. It includes the following features. We have call functions, transfer, redial, mute, and put on hold. We have the same hands-free speaker and microphone. We have a handset with a mute button, which I think the other two have that as well. It's powered by 802.3 AF. We have voicemail that's enabled and it's managed by our Unify Talk. And these phones come in at $29 USD MSRP or we could buy four of them for $99. Now, after seeing all of the phones, the first thing we need to do is start Unify Talk. I had Unify Talk active before when I had my trial period a few months ago, but now it's currently offline. So I'm gonna go to my settings wheel and then we'll click on updates. Here we could see that Unify Talk is stopped and we could start the talk application. Now that it's starting, we're gonna go into our Unify network controller and I'm gonna create a new subnet for our Unify Talk phones. So I'll click on the network controller I'll click on the settings wheel, and then we'll go down to networks. Here we're gonna add a new network. I'm gonna have this network enabled and I'm gonna call it Unify Talk. My router will be my Mac Telecom, which is my UDM Pro, and then we'll click the drop down arrow on advanced. I'm gonna give it a VLAN ID of 33, and we're gonna turn off the auto scale. I'll set the subnet to 192.168.33.1, and then we'll auto configure the DHCP range and then press add network. So now we have our Unify Talk network created. We need to tag the switch ports that we want to connect these phones to. So I'll go over to my Unify devices and then I'm going to select my office switch. We're going to go to settings and then we'll go to ports. The ports that I'm going to use for the Unify Talk will be 5, 6, and 7. I'll select port 5 and then under the port profile, we're going to put it into that new Unify Talk network that we just created and then we'll press apply changes. Now I need to do the same thing for port six and seven. I'll click on the port, we'll switch it to Unify Talk, and then press apply changes. We'll go back to port seven and do the same thing. In the old user interface, in the classic interface, you were able to select multiple ports to put it in the same network, I can't seem to see this in the new UI. I've now plugged in all of the phones and we could see them down below. We have my UTP Touch, the UTP Touch Max, and we have the UVP Flex. 
So the Flex is the only one that's not running at full gigabit speed. It's running at 100 megabits per second. Now we need to get into the Unify Talk controller. So I'll go up and I'll select Unify Talk. A pop-up on screen shows me that my Unify Talk trial has expired, which I used months ago. So I'm just going to press X on that for now. We will add a new number though. And this is the dashboard for Unify Talk. Really, there isn't anything going on. In the left-hand pane, we can see the system performance, which is showing that it's doing great. The internet closest server is 33 milliseconds away. Our uptime is 30 minutes. The SIP provider is Talk. We can see our total calls. We can see our trial information, which is expired. This will change a bit when we do purchase a phone number. We could also switch how we see our stats. Currently, it's just set to one day, but we could have five days, one month, or six months. And we could also view our call log. On the left-hand side, we could also see devices. We could see all three of my phones are sitting here and they need to be adopted. I'm gonna click on the Touch Max and it's showing that the device is unassigned. So I'm gonna assign this device to myself. Under the drop-down menu, it would show all the users that you have configured. I'll click on the drop-down menu. And you can see Cody McCallum. That's the only user we have configured currently. We'll create a couple new users after we assign this device. Okay, now the UTP Touch is inside of our Unify Talk system. We need to create a few more users. We'll go over to the Users and Group, and then we're going to press Add User. I'll call this first one YouTube, and the last name will be Test1. And I'll give this extension 101, and we'll press Add. We'll add one more user. And I'll call this YouTube test two. And we'll give this user extension 102 and press add. Now by default, Ubiquity sets the user extensions of your phones at 001 and going up. So I need to click on my account and press edit. If we click on the screwdriver and wrench for manage and go down to manage, we could scroll down below and change the extension of this user. I'm gonna change my user to be 100 and then we'll press save. Now we have three different users created. We need to assign the two YouTube test accounts to the phones. We'll go back to our devices. I'll click on the UTP touch, and then we'll assign the device. This device will assign to YouTube test one and press assign. Now for the UTP flex, we'll assign it to YouTube test two. Now with the users assigned to the phones, we could see that two of the phones need a firmware update and we're gonna update those now. So I'll click the update and then we'll confirm it. We'll do the same for the Flex phone. And we'll wait a few minutes for the firmware to finish updating. The firmware has been updated on all of the phones now. The only thing that we could see on the phones is that the trial has ended, or we could make an emergency call. We need to purchase a phone number so that we could get our calls working. To purchase a phone number, we need to go to the settings wheel. From the settings wheel, we're gonna go to numbers and subscription. We could see manage numbers, purchase new numbers, or port numbers. What we're going to want to do is purchase new numbers. It brings up this pop-up that says Unify Talk purchase numbers. To be able to purchase new subscriptions, please access application from UI.com. So we'll click on the go to unify.ui.com and then we're going to select our numbers. One thing to note here, it's only available in the USA and we need to put in our address for emergency calling. As many of you know, I am in Canada, but I do have a USA address. But it is very important that you only do this if you actually live in the USA and you put in the emergency number of where this Unify Talk system is sitting. So if you have to make an emergency call, they know where to go. So we'll have our country as one, which is the United States, and then we'll pick our area code. After we pick our area code, we'll choose the number. So we'll give us a list of numbers to choose. I'll just pick the top one. And this phone number isn't going to be used for anything just for the purpose of these videos. If you want to call and leave me a message, that's fine, but I won't be picking up. And then we could see confirm and purchase the number. So we have our phone number and then we have the monthly price and I'll press purchase. And it will charge the credit card that we have on the account and we'll press subscribe now. Now, after the number has been purchased, we could see the upcoming payment. We could see the next billing date. We could see I only have the one subscription and then we could see our total minutes that we have, which is 3000. If you buy another phone number, you'll have 6,000 minutes. Down below that, we could view all of our subscriptions, but we only have the one subscription to the one phone number and the status is unassigned. We could also do number porting requests and we could do third-party SIP providers. So you can use the system with another SIP provider like VoIP MS if you'd like. You need to make sure that the third-party SIP provider is handling your emergency contact information. 
On the left hand side, we could do the emergency call. And this is where we would set the location sent to emergency services. This location will be given to emergency responders should you ever dial 911. And within these settings right now, it's only for the USA. If we look under system settings, we could see the talk application uptime. We could see the owner. We could download a talk support file. We could reset the talk application. We could do a debugging log, static signal port, and then set up our third party SIP setup. Under our call settings, we have music on hold. We have our voicemail call recording. We have default area code. We have call blocking. And we'll take a look at all these other features in another video. For the rest of this video, we're just going to get the number assigned. Then we're going to look at the phones and make some extension to extension calling as well as some outbound calling. So to assign our phone number to our user, we're gonna go over to the users, and then I'm gonna assign it to this main user. So we'll view my Cody McCallum account. We'll click on manage and then go down to manage. Below the extension, we could see change number. And with the extensions, it has to be a four digit. I did give this extension 100, but it switched it to 0, 100. So to change the number, we're gonna click on the none, and then we'll select my new phone number and press save. How it stands right now, the only user who would be able to make outbound calls and receive inbound calls would be my Cody McCallum user. So what you could do, you could either purchase other numbers for your YouTube test or your YouTube test too, or you could create a group, which we'll do. So we'll go over to the groups and then we'll create a new group. We'll call this group staff and the group number we'll select is that number that we have purchased. It says that this phone number is currently being used by Cody McCallum. It will be removed from this user if you proceed, which is fine. We have our call handling, which is simultaneous, or we could do sequential. I'm going to leave it at the first one. And then we're going to have manage users, which is the users that we want a part of the staff group. So I'll click the drop down. I'll put Cody McCallum and then we'll select YouTube test one and YouTube test two. Then we need to select a voicemail recipient. I'll just put my Cody McCallum for now. Under the ringback, we have a few different options. We have default, classical, electronic, or jazz. Let's listen to a few of them. I'm gonna leave it at default and press create. Now we have our group created. If we called the phone number, it will ring on all three phones that we have in that group. We need to do, we need to test outbound and inbound calling. And we'll also look at the Unify Protect app on the phone. Here's the three phones. This is the Touch, the Touch Max, and then we have the Flex phone. Let's take a look at the settings on the Touch Max. So on the Touch Max, we can see that we have the Talk, Protect, UI, and then we have our settings. Let's first look at some of the settings. The screen is gonna be a little bit hard to see due to the reflection, but at the top, we have something that says My Status, and then it says Available, Do Not Disturb, Change Redirect Number, and then we have Do Not Disturb Allow List. If we click under My Status, it says Call. And this is for our call waiting, and call waiting is enabled. Below call, we have apps, so we have our Unify Protect and UI app. If we didn't want the UI app, we could just click it and it would toggle it off. And then we have our advanced settings. Under advanced, we have our network, we have connected devices, display, sound, security, and privacy, firmware update, feedback, and then system. We could see our favorites, our recent calls, our contacts, our keypad, voicemail, and then settings. Let's make a call at one of the extensions, which is 0102, and we'll press the dial button. And that is ringing our flex phone. Now I'm gonna dial externally to my phone number. And we could see that it's ringing and we could hear that my cell phone is ringing. Now for my cell phone, I'm gonna call internally to that number and all three of these phones should ring. And we could hear all of them going off. So we have our inbound and outbound calls working as well as extension to extension. Now let's take a look at protect on the phone max. So I'm gonna click on the protect app and it brings us with this page. It says design to protect privacy. We're gonna continue and it will populate Unify Protect. Now we need to sign in with a single sign-on. And now we can see our UMVR. At the top, we have our recent smart detections. If we scroll down, then we can see our cameras. So I have my front door camera, my other front door camera, garage camera, the left side of my driveway, the right side, side of my house, and then two cameras in my backyard. There's also three settings down here. We could go to our person, which does the detections, and then we could check our settings wheel for our notifications or our Unify OS console. 
So that's a really neat feature that they integrated with Unify Talk. We've now made a few phone calls and we could see things appearing in the call logs. We could see our from, which is who called us and where it's going to, which is the staff group. We could also see a timestamp of that call. Under the usage, we could still see that we have 3000 minutes. We could see total internal call minutes, which is unlimited. And then we could see our international calls. It would show us our most active users, but since I haven't used this too much, we're not displayed anything. And that's going to be it for this video. We set up Unify Talk with a phone number and we also set up some user groups. We will dive into other features later on. We'll do the auto attendant and we'll make some different ring groups. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.